welcome back to the channel. Yesterday on the Instagram, Chrissy Teigen has announced she's pregnant. She's expecting the third baby in the nine months. So we can check, are her details on the astrodatabank.com and are they in the nice rating, like AA, which is the time is coming from the birth certificate, or at least A or B, which is a biography. So in her case, we are lucky. We have her birth details so we can see how her chart is reflecting this happy news she received. Is the ninth house, which is in a lady's chart related to childbirth, now activated in the nine months from now? We will also see her career life, the short snapshots, always the 10 from the moon, Aruda Lagna, 10 in the Navamsa chart. We are always doing that, nearly in every example. So here we will also do that. We know that she is a model, the presenter, but she also is working as a cook and writer. So we can also see how this is reflected in her chart. If you're brand new here, my name is Rafal Gendash. This channel is all about Vedic astrology in the tradition of Shirya Chudananda with the analytical research and example-based approach. Okay, so a few interesting things. Her surname is pronounced Tegan normally, but she prefers Tegan. She co-hosted also the musical competition with the LL Cool J and was comedy competition judge and also authored two books. When she was 15, her father uh, relocated to Huntington in California and the mother moved back to uh, Thailand. And this is very interesting because at that time she started working in the soft shop and from that she landed as job in the modeling in the Billabong company. And this is very interesting because she was 16 years of age. So this is Jupiter. Jupiter is active at that age. And we see that this is 10th Lord from the moon. So it's all about career life. Also, we see Jupiter is in the third house. So this is 12 from the fourth and also seven. So the Maraca bad from the ninth. So third house, also the 10th house are not the best when it comes to parents. So when these houses are activated in our lives, this could be parents divorce, could be relocation and so on. So we remember that also the Cartney study at the age of 16, she was married and also she started her career life. This was a kind of scandal. And that was also Jupiter in her chart was in 12th house, also related to 10th house from the moon, initiating her career life. And this is very interesting because this is not the only things which connect these two people. In fact, in uh, May 2021, Chrissy Teigen was cyberbullying the Courtney study just because of that uh, marriage. So uh, then she apologized. But this is interesting that both had this uh, important event in life at the age of 16. And in both charts, this is signified by the Jupiter. You can go to that video of mine about Courtney study. Now we have two important events when it comes to career life. In 2010, she appeared in Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue and that was in Saturn Ketu and the Ketu Indi Dashamsa is a fifth lord. We also have connection to 10th house from the moon because it's Pisces, Ketu Lord Pisces and in the Navamsha Pisces is also in the 10th house, Ketu Lord Pisces. So we have this triple voting, triple confirmation from Rashi Navamsha and Dashamsa. Yes, let's start the career now. And this is the, the voice is coming from Ketu. In September 2015, she was food stylist and panelist on Tyra Banks talk show Fab Life, and this was in the Dasha of Saturn Moon Moon. So Antar Dasha Moon, Pratyantar Dasha Moon, and guess what? Moon in the fifth house in the Dashamsa. So you can see fifth house in the Dashamsa is giving either new job or promotions. She is also not drinking alcohol, and we can ascribe that to this Pravraja Yoga in the second house. She has four planets in one house. This is normally showing uh, Pravraja Yoga. These are people who are very spiritual in the past life. So this may come up in some form of manner in this life. She has also the Jupiter in the Navamsha Lagna, Ketu in the Rashi Lagna, so that Venus Ketu is also a kind of Tapashvi. So she would be very much attracted to such uh, things like detox, or being drug free, being alcohol free, being sober and so on. So let's try to see the career life using the tent from the moon, the Aruda Lagna and the tent in the Navamsha. 
So by the way, this moon is very telling here because it's 10th Lord in the ninth house, which is showing uh, international career. This is also in seventh from the Aruda Lagna. Initial Aruda will be that Sagittarius, but uh, Jupiter is debilitated. So very high chance the Aruda will jump to ninth house. It's still with the moon, which is giving the fame to this person. Then we have also moon in 10th house in the Navamsha and Jupiter is aspecting. So moon and Jupiter is aspecting the 10th house in the Navamsha, which is giving the big wealth from the being famous, from the recognition, popularity, and so on. So it's very much telling. Uh, so this 10th Lord from the Moon, which is the Jupiter, is also in the Gemini, which is showing the career life related to writing. And the Moon in the Navamsha can also give wealth from cooking and wealth from healing, all things related to the Moon. And this person is also earning from writing and cooking. So this Moon and Mercury, which is on the Aruda Lagna, related to 10th from the Moon, the Lord Jupiter, because it's in Gemini Navamsha and then we have also this moon and the Jupiter aspecting the uh, tent house in the Navamsha which is showing the wealth. So see how tent from the moon, Aruda Lagna and tent in the Navamsha are making the whole process of choosing career life very easy. So other astrologers they are using the tent from Rashi, they are using some different charts, uh, different systems, nakshatras, this and that, but this uh, method of these three points from our tradition, the tent from moon, the Aruda Lagna and tent from the Navamsha Lagna is a very effective way to make this process very easy. So this Jupiter which seemingly is bad because it's Debilitated. In fact, it may be very good because this is the sixth lord. So it's very good for competition to have the sixth lord debilitated or weak. Then it means that this enemy is dying, the enemy has problems. So for any jobs which includes like competing with others, like for example being the model, we see this Ketu in the Libra, right? The Ketu is without the head, so often it's showing the models, the modeling, the Libra is also there. So these people, if a sixth lord is debilitated, they may have this fortune to overcome the competition. Okay guys, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm to make this video more viral, more visible on this platform, so other can also learn. Subscribe with the bell notification on, so you will get a notification when the new videos are coming up. You don't want to miss, because we will publishing at least once a week, and these are traditional basics about interpretation of the Vedic charts. And now let's go back to this video. So if we talk about the timing, and if we see her Dasha, so the Saturn Saturn was the time when she met John Legend. How? Why Saturn? So first of all, the planets in the fourth house in the Navamsha, they can give marriage they can start relationship and so on and Saturn is in the fourth house in the Navamsha. Secondly, Upapada is in Capricorn so Saturn would be the lord of the Upapada and the third point very important for starting dating, starting relationship, we need some connection to the 12th house because 12th is natural Pisces and this is the sign in which Venus is exalted. So based on this we know that Mercury is the 12th Lord and Saturn would be in Yuti or conjunction with that 12th Lord Mercury. They are together. So therefore Saturn has that allowance, Saturn is voting, yes I want you to start dating. This is called also the Netra, this is the priest which is making the marriage happen in the 12th house. By the way, you can see that Jupiter is a 7th Lord in the Navamsha on her Lagna. So this marriage is making also her popular and this spouse is also well known, is recognized and so on. So now we also see that for women, this ninth house is also bringing the children. So here we have Moon in the ninth house. And the Dasha of this first child, the daughter, was in that Saturn Moon. The children in the chart can also be brought by fifth from Venus. So here we have Jupiter, but Jupiter is debilitated and therefore we know that Moon is bringing that Nichabanga. This Moon is not in Kendra, but still it can help in its Dasha. So when Moon came, it brought Jupiter up from this debilitation and has brought the daughter. Especially the moon is showing the female children, so the first one was female. Now we also know that Chrissy Teigen also have the stillbirth, which was very unfortunate. This was in this Rahu Antardasha. Now we will see that Rahu in the D7 chart, in the Saptamsha, is the sixth lord and is also with Mercury in the Marana Karakastana. And from the Venus is in the sixth house. So it's very unfortunate, especially in the Aries, this Rahu Mars energy is not very favorable for having children. But now, in the nine months ahead, this Dasha will be Saturn Jupiter. So we can check if Jupiter is favorable. And we can say yes, the Jupiter will also vote 
for this childbirth. And this is because in the Navamsha, Jupiter is in the Lagna, bringing the fortune, aspecting fifth and ninth. It's the fifth lord from the Venus, and it's also the dispositor in the Navamsha of the moon, which is sitting in the ninth house. If you would like me to help you analyze your chart, the Rasi, Navamsha, Dashamsa, what all these planets mean in your chart, the yogas, the dashas, and the remedy, increasing the positive and blocking the negatives in your chart, just hit me up in the email below and we can schedule a consultation for you. Okay guys, so I hope we have learned something new in this video. Ninth house in this woman's chart, in the tradition we call this Trijataka. So the three means ladies and the Jataka is bird horoscope. We have also learned about the dispositors, in this case especially the Navamsha dispositors. Here the Deepa quoted nicely on the Instagram. We talked a little bit about the essential points when it comes to marriage timing, so you can also use those. And of course the holy trio of 10 from Moon, Aruda Lagna and 10 in the Navamsa chart, so we are using those nearly in every video on my channel. Uh, thanks for watching till the end and your thumbs up. Write me in the comments what do you think about this approach. Also if you prefer more these outdoor videos or indoor videos, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.